if there's one thing I like to do that is keeping it real. So welcome back to another video. My name is Alex and in today's video, I'm gonna actually just talk to you about the realistic earnings I've been able to make with print on demand while having a nine to five job. Now I've been seeing these videos circulate. So I was like, okay, let me just hop on because everybody's situation and outcome is different. So I wanted to give you a look in my lens pretty much to show you how much I've been making in revenue when it comes to print on demand and just kind of walking you through what I'm starting to see as I grow on Etsy. But right now in this season, I'm learning how to grow my print on demand Etsy shop. And I want to take you through pretty much how much I've made thus far since starting in like May of this year. So I'm about to be on my sixth month, honestly. And I was like, you know what, I might as well give y'all an update now. Okay, so before we jump really deep into Q4 with like holiday sales and stuff like that, I wanted to show you how much I've made way before that because I'm not sure what to honestly expect this year. I've been adding listings. So hey, I'll be back with another Another update after Q4. So let me go ahead and show you my earnings thus far. All right, so welcome to my stats basically. So I'm just gonna jump right in. I actually started this particular print on demand shop back in May. But full disclaimer, this is like my fourth time trying on Etsy. I will say that sometimes life happens, you know, and I've gotten discouraged and I've also just kind of gone back to just focusing on one thing at a time. And so I'm a, I'm a firm believer basically in pivoting. Just to let you guys know, this isn't my first Etsy shop. This is actually my fourth and I feel like I'm finally getting it to where I'm staying consistent enough to actually see results, okay? So I just wanted to share that with you real quick. So let's go ahead and get started. So for May of this year, I was just getting started, okay? So I have barely any information, any data, right, um, basically, to really show you how much I've grown. So I just started, I was uploading listings. I think around the time I was trying to upload three listings a day. Um, being realistic, I have a full-time job, like I said. So, you know, sometimes after work, I'm mentally exhausted physically exhausted, all of that stuff where I just don't have the time and I just don't make extra time, honestly. There's been nights where I logged off work ate dinner and just laid on the couch just to decompress. So I wanted to say that that really is a thing too. And I want to factor that into this conversation because I don't want you to feel bad if you're just not grinding, grinding, grinding every day. Like this is hard <laughs> and having a life outside of this is a challenge. So just wanted to put that out there. So this is what May was looking like. Like I said, just getting started, hadn't made any revenue. Okay. So I was still just growing. It takes about six to eight weeks to your um to have your listings pretty much shown in etsy's algorithm to become searchable basically so when you post a listing it isn't just immediate you have to kind of foster that you have to nurture it you may have to change your seo up sometimes you may have to change your your listing photos sometimes shoot you may have to take down the product and put it back up just to make it better but nonetheless when you post a listing it is not immediate so it's going to take some time to get recognized in Etsy search. And I wanted you to keep that in mind as well. So May, I didn't make any money. Let's go ahead and go to June. So um, in June, what I did in, um, notice that I had a lot more visits, but that's because I started to add more listings. I was really adding a lot of listings in May so I can kind of speed up or fast track my process in June so I can see more growth and hopefully some revenue. So I didn't make any revenue for the month of June, but I had a lot Lot of visits which still helped me out because my shop was just getting recognized I had a lot of buyers or people who were interested I should say in June coming through the Etsy app Etsy search um, a little bit of social media I think this was from my TikTok, if I'm not mistaken and I have it in my link tree so I've linked that in my TikTok shop I'm not, not my TikTok shop my TikTok account and then just direct and other traffic too and then if I go to I'm sorry if I go down a little bit Etsy marketing and SEO this was I'm sure from offsite ads so this wasn't from anything other than that and then at the time I wasn't running ads so I don't have any results from that so my visits jumped which I thought was pretty cool and it really got me excited to keep going because at least it gave me the hope that people are finding me and what I'm doing as far as like structuring my SEO which I have a video on that as well if you want to check that out but structuring my SEO right like learning how to structure my listing so that they become optimized I really focused on that in the beginning let's move to July 
So July was really exciting because I had my very first order. As you can see, I made 16 whole dollars. Okay. That is depending on your car, oh, baby, that's some gas. Okay. That is dinner. Okay. This is a lot <laughs> in my mind. So I was starting to see progress again. I kept the same rhythm going. I was adding listings. I was adding a lot of my listing to Pinterest because I wanted that free traffic. I'm constantly learning how to make my listings very optimized, very professional. I'm just not throwing stuff up there just because I want it to be up there. I really wanted to be strategic. I wanted to make sure that things look polished and all that good stuff. So I really started to see that that work was paying off. I got 97 visits. So the previous month, June was 75 and then May was five. So I'm constantly seeing growth, you know, when it comes to my visits. I got my first order, was super excited, you guys. Like I cannot, like that day I just remember like, oh my gosh, like it's happening, right? When you get that first order, it just does something to your confidence. So I got my first order. My conversion rate was 1%. Since I hadn't had an order before, that's pretty high, okay? Now conversion rate varies. I feel like typically anything between, shoot, 3% to about 7%, you're in a good range. A lot of people are buying and you're able to convert your listings to sales. So that's the range that so far I've been seeing that is successful in my mind. And then down below, um, just picking up a little bit more of how shoppers found me. So again, more from the Etsy app. Um, my highest traffic was direct and other traffic. A few of the Etsy searches that was coming through. So that's telling me again, my SEO is structuring. It's being structured really well. And I love that. And then just one from the Etsy marketing and SEO. July was when I first started seeing actual revenue. Okay. So let me go to August. Okay. This is when they start cracking, okay? Because I went from five visits in May to 75 in June to I think 97 in July to 159 in August. Y'all, this was so dope. Like I just knew that again, everything I was doing was working. And to me, when I say everything, it's what I just mentioned to you guys. Making sure my SEO is optimized, learning what keywords and what hot keywords are and what's worth it when you title your product putting my description making sure that's optimized I talked about that too in my last video I'm constantly trying to figure out how can I be pulled up organically that's all I really worry about because when you pull up organically it's just gonna be endless okay because people don't have to search for you you're pulling up when they find you it's just perfect so I really focused on that I had seven orders in the month of August I was so proud of myself I believe at the time this was also from one product so the thing about Etsy was so fascinating about it is that not everything obvious obviously is going to sell you may have only four to five listings out of like 50 to 100 that's really going to pop but that doesn't mean you stop okay you still have to keep posting listings and I'm not even done like I want to get to like so many more hundreds of listings y'all like I'm not I'm just scratching the surface basically so I can't wait to give you guys like another update of how my sales have grown based off of me adding more listings but for now <laughs> I I think that this was just a really good opportunity. So seven orders, 4.4 conversion rate. So that's still pretty high. My revenue, I went from $16 in July to $157.90 in August. Wow, right? Just crazy. So let's keep going. Okay, so September was an interesting month because I had more visits, but I didn't have that much revenue. And my revenue was just kind of like a little bit over the previous month. But again, this is all good stuff because at least I'm progressing. And I just thought that this was a good thing. So nonetheless, I still made some money. I still made some sales. I had seven orders, which was the same amount as last month as a, I'm sorry, the previous month, which was August 484 visits. My conversion rate was 1.4. And then I made $171 and 60 cents. Again, I'm selling the same product. So that tells me that in May, when I uploaded this product, this was the start of me um, pretty much finding a good product and good niche. So I am in the personalization niche. Niche. That's what I identify as my niche because I sell multiple products. So for me, I'm not in more of so like a product niche. I'm more so in like a like conceptual niche as far as like personalization, but I sell multiple different products that can be personalized. So that's where my brain sales were going. Okay. When it came to like, what am I going to do when I do join Etsy again? 
So personal, personalization to me is always going to be a, um, an easy way to get started and then you just figure it out from there. So that's September. And so currently in the month, of, the month of October. So this is where it's starting to get really, really exciting because y'all just saw, and I'll go back again just for reference, from August to September, I made around like 150 to 170. So let's just go back to August real quick. 159 visits, still seven orders, but then 157.90. And then September, 484 visits, seven orders, and then $171. And I do believe, I can't remember honestly, if I ran a sale this month or in August, but I wanted to also mention that to y'all too. Like I actually ran a sale that helped me just get more sales, honestly. It's just kind of one of those like marketing strategies when you discount your your listings you tend to get more sales that's what I've experienced so just keep that in mind it does help you grow um, don't think of a sale as something negative I would think of it as getting people to your shop because they really love your product they're gonna come back again so I think between August and September I did run a sale so that really helped a lot more visits because I had things discounted and so now let's go back to this month October so I am recording this on October 23rd and so far I've made $469 you guys and I am just over the moon like this is almost to $500 okay if you really want to round it up okay we almost at a thousand so one of my big goals is to really start seeing that thousand dollar mark but I know I still have a long way to go and I am not rushing this process because I've been taking it more seriously this time around I'm noticing the changes I'm recognizing how this really works it's given me so much more of a better perspective as to why I don't want to rush this again I have a whole job okay so it is something that I do not work on every single day but I am in the position now to where I can add more time to Etsy and I'm really excited about that so again just stay tuned you guys make sure you subscribe so that way you can see my growth just like I experienced it I want to share it with y'all so Currently, this month, I've made $469 in revenue. I've had 14 orders. It's been amazing. When you get the notification, it's just it's just a good feeling, okay? I cannot stress that enough. And then just scrolling down here, um, I can see what's brought me in those sales. I have started running Etsy ads. So that also has helped my sales too because it's pretty much Etsy's way of pushing out your listings to the first page, which is a goal of mine is to always land on the first page page. I want to make sure that I'm right in front of buyers faces. I don't want them to have to go and find me, but it's a process, right? And not everything is always on the first page. However, when you do utilize Etsy ads, you have that leverage of being seen a little bit faster. So I went ahead and invested and started running ads and I'm still currently running ads just because I still want to see um, how beneficial they are to my shop. Okay. And that's about it, you guys. So right now, if I go ahead and just show you what I've made this year so far, far for the grand total so from the month of may to now um i've made actually let me just go ahead and do this it really doesn't matter because i didn't sell anything from january to like middle may so this is going to be the same number even if i filter it to may so it really doesn't matter but long story short i've made 814 dollars and 50 cents in revenue and i'm just so so thankful like this as honestly is what i've been needing to really see like is this something that i can do now that i know what i can sell and ideas of more products to sell I'm in a position to where I'm about to just start adding so many more things because again honestly you guys you just never know all it takes is like a few listings to bring in consistent sales and you're able to to me have financial freedom you're able to be a successful Etsy seller so these are my real numbers very realistic okay with a full-time job I do not work at this every single day but I am making sure I spend more time on it in the near future and I wanted to let you guys know that this is what it is so you know just keep going don't get discouraged and you can make it happen all right good people so that's pretty much it as far as how much money I've made thus far with print on demand selling on Etsy and using Printify if I didn't mention that before I use Printify as my print on demand provider I love them and that's 
pretty much it. And I feel like this time around, I'm taking it much more seriously. So I can't wait to give you guys like a, a year update or maybe just do it incrementally to where I do like a six month, nine month, whatever. But nonetheless, stick with me and you're gonna see so much more that I have to share, that I have to offer and just bring you along this journey because every day is going to be different. This is gonna be my first Q4 with Etsy. So I'm really excited to see number one, um, how much I can really sell and also what can I learn to carry into next Q4 and the following Q4s because Q4 is a really good time to see a lot of growth. Some stores only have success in Q4 and I don't want to be one of those stores so I make sure I'm like making evergreen products as well. So all I gotta say is stay tuned. But thank you guys so much for watching. As always, subscribe if you're liking the vibe and I'm gonna catch you in my next video. Bye y'all.